Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at meiosis and mitosis and see how they are both similar and different. To begin with, what is the goal of mitosis and meiosis? They both create new cells. Both mitosis and meiosis start with diploid cells. Mitosis creates body cells that are diploid. Diploid means that they have two sets of chromosomes. In humans, each body has 23 pairs of chromosomes, or 46 totals. Meiosis also creates new cells, but these cells are called gametes, which for males is a sperm cell, and for females it's the egg cell. These cells are haploid, which means that they have one set of chromosomes. Both mitosis and meiosis go through interphase. A cell spends most of its time in what is called interphase, and during this time it grows replicates its chromosomes, in other words, makes a copy of its DNA, and prepares for cell division. During both mitosis and meiosis, the cells go through PMAT, which stands for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. One difference is that during prophase, for meiosis, the chromosomes match up with other homologous pairs. These are chromosomes of roughly the same size, and the genes are the same type and at the same location. This allows the chromosomes to go through a process called crossing over. And during this process, the genetic information is exchanged with the maternal and paternal chromosomes and shuffles up the genetic information slightly. During anaphase, during mitosis, the chromatids are pulled in opposite direction. But in meiosis, the chromosomes are pulled in opposite directions. Now, after cytokinesis, Mitosis is basically done. The process stops and two identical cells are created. However, during meiosis after cytokinesis, the cell begins prophase 2 and goes through prophase, metaphase, anaphase. Now this time during the anaphase, the chromatids are pulled apart and in the end you end up with four non-identical cells that are haploid and they're called gametes. Haploid, again, means that you only have one set of chromosomes. So in humans, males make sperm cells with 23 chromosomes, and females make eggs with 23 chromosomes. I hope that was helpful, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.